they are in, I mean, I, I would think they, they are in a good position to, to continue that run because uh, they're getting momentum, confidence. And the, on the other side, uh, Leicester is not at its best at the moment. So, yeah, they could, they could make it three in a row, which would be nice because uh, Arsenal is setting up a high pace since the beginning. Um, and uh, yeah, it could be, um, could be an opportunity to stay in contact. I don't think he was uh, first choice um, because uh, it's a late one in the window and the price is also high. Um, so it's uh, you have to adjust. You can't get your number one and number two. You get for I don't know where, which number was Casimir on the list, uh, but for sure he was on the list somewhere. And um, but it's it's a good it's a good signing nevertheless. So it's a, um, even though, even if it's a reaction to the market and to the emergence of Chouameni and uh, maybe uh, Kamavinga at Real Madrid. Um, to have this player available for United and happy to come and we know his mentality is a warrior uh, Brazilian international so he's ticking a lot of boxes um, for for the club uh, despite being 30 he's, he's got still I mean right now United needs to look at um, at being performant uh, and you if you can build for the future on certain position, it's good. But having the experience of Casimiro will be, uh, uh, once he mastered the, the English language, would be very, very important. No, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, different, um, different players. Um, but again, um, you know, with uh, with. Ericsson and, and Bruno in the squad, I think they can they can uh, they can complement each other with uh, what Casimiro, Fred and McTominay are bringing to the to the team. So um, yeah, it's it's still positive in my eyes. It's always nice to start with a victory against uh, Liverpool. So did I <laughs> in '99, um, because it's a, it's a big occasion, you know. It's like a, a final. Uh, it's like you're playing a final. The expectation and uh, okay, it's only three points. I mean, only three points at stake, but at home as well with the fans. Um, this is giving him credit and uh, for for the general opinion and also for he's got. I'm sure he had belief uh, of the from the he had the belief that the team was well equipped and uh, could do that, but to actually uh, do it and and finish with the three points and a nice a nice victory um, must be uh, must be pleasing. So it's you know he's he's under a lot of pressure uh, because he has to rebuild. Um, and um, to to close the gap with the top team, so <clears throat> beating Liverpool is uh, right now. As over the last few years, they've been one of the top performers. So it's they're having a tough time, uh, Liverpool, to start this season. But still, it was it was good to to be able to do that. There's been uh, there's. Been there was a good start, then there was a bit of doubt uh, about his capacity to revive the the Arsenal, Arsenal rebuilding, and um, with with uh, a good support from the owners and and uh, the staff, they've they've managed to uh, to give a, to make room for the talented. Uh, Academy players, you know, Smith, Rowe, Saka. And then they've, they've acquired uh, very, very good players. So, especially now with Jesus coming in, um, 
you know, and uh, Saliba showing showing that he, he belongs there. So he, he yeah, he's he's done well. He's done well, and credit to him for uh, persevering into the type of football he wants to play. Because sometimes, uh, um, yeah, when you're under pressure, you you might go the I would say so called the, the easy way and. And, and lose a bit of your identity, but we can see that Arsenal uh, style of play is, is back to the to when uh, Arsenal was um, dominant. You know, they they played, uh, I would say, the the same way. Uh, so now it's it's all about getting there and be be there at the end of the season to to win. Extremely important because um, Arsenal has been losing players on the free transfer too many times before, um, and, uh, and now that the the team is is performing and there's a you can see the progression. And it's a young group of players, so they need to yeah they need to tie them up for much longer. Um, because uh, if you go on the market and try to buy these players now, it's going to cost you a big amount of money. So um, it's um, it's hard to manage the wage bill and uh, the, the the balance into the wage bill and try to keep your, your best players. But you, you need to set a, a bar where everybody feels comfortable, but the club has to be uh, the final decision maker about about those deals. But yeah, they, they need to to do that as soon as possible. And if you can before the World Cup, that would be the best scenario because after I mean you never know what can happen. Yeah, I think uh, if they could add one one winger and one midfield player, that would be uh, that would be ideal. Ideal world, but sometimes you need to shift players from one position to another for for a few few games and you have to deal with it. It's uh, you can't have the perfect scenario, um, and uh, it, it gives uh, also the chance for for the fringe players and maybe for academy players to uh, to to get their their shot. Um, so yeah, if many people do that, um, like you have to say that. It's better to sign the right players and or sign nobody. I think Arsenal is can be in that position because they are leading the table and they don't need to panic on the transfer market. <laughs>